0-1 count to Jasmine Perischica. Light slap to the left side. Jones on the run, not in time. Paris Chica using the wheels to get things going for the Arizona. So the heads up defense by the Cardinal, something they've relied on all. Grounded to Schultz, she'll take it herself at first. She get the second out, runners advance. Freshman in Dakota Kennedy. There are four freshmen in this starting lineup. A couple of back-to-back walk-offs. As that one's chopped up the middle, Young ranging over, makes the throw, gets it done. So the Wildcats threaten with two aboard, but they'll strand up to third. 11 wins on the season. She has hit 10 batters this season. Stanford going to win so far. Drives that one into the outfield. Going back for it is Kennedy, and she'll make the catch. So a big out for Devin Nets to keep that Misses in. Mailer draws the walk. Her 10th of the season. Emily Young. Another super senior in Emily Young. In the dirt. Reading it and going. River Mailer takes second base. It's her third stolen base at the same time. Change up off the end of the bat. Rolled over to first base. Be able to take it herself and tag her out. So Stanford strands one. Erringer, first pitch, back to Vodder. She'll underhand it to first. One pitch, one out for Stanford. Hitting 329, the sophomore. Takes Beal hits it hard to short. Shovel to second, over to first, not in time for the double play. But the force out at second erases Dimmler. There's a lot of trust there between those two. The off speed, and she gets her looking. The backwards cave for Elena Vodder shuts it down here in the top of the second. She's working with a 2-2 count. Nets gets her. Second strikeout of the day for Devin Nets. And it's one down for the Wildcat. Emily Schultz. Another one, two. She goes that way. Over the head of Tom of Kennedy, but she makes the grab. Takes a few steps back, makes the snap. Popped up, jammed her a bit. Calling and ranging over to make the catches. Skaggs, and she does it. Three up, three down. Devin Nets retires. Back 12, third team as well. It's chopped just over the glove of Vodder, but Young to first in time. In top 100 for D1 softball. As that one's hit hard, but cut off by Jones to first. Flash in the leather is the Jones. Makes a nice play over at the hot corner. Toes. Nets takes the first pitch. Lined right into the glove of River Mailer. Three up. Three down for Elena Vodder. 266 games that she played here in a Stanford uniform. In 2023, 11 hits on the year. Waits on the changeup, softly lined to the left side. On the run, Cole makes the throw, and it's one away. It's at the corner outfield positions last year and appeared in 52 games. Hits it deep into center field. Going back for it is Paris Chica at the wall makes the grab. For the Wildcats, take a look at this swing. She just got slightly under it. Almost had enough oomph to get it out of here. Would have hit the wall. had Change up. Waits on it. Skies it into the outfield. Paris Chica ranging over to left center to make the catch. Once again... Donardo already having earned NFCA Player of the Week and Pat Time Player of the Year. Grounds it to Schultz again. Takes it herself, unassisted. One away here for my weekend for the Pac-12. Got her looking. Elena Vodder catches the outside corner. The backwards K. 302 started 42 games. And it's the 2-2. Back to Vodder. Hard one. Overhands it to Schultz, and that's going to do it. 
Vauder once again retires this. This ranked Pac-12 matchup could prove to be key. Drops the third strike, but Mailer with the speed and the base is clear, gives her the opportunity to run it out. Third strikeout for Nets. Who has a run rule? That one is grounded. Diving is Behringer. Can't get up and get the throw off in time, so it's an infield hit. Front. Shows Bunt again, lays it down. Behringer, the bare hand, over to first, and it's a successful sacrifice. Change up. Grounded to short, to home, but the throw slightly offline, and Mailer scores. Emily Young advances the ball on the ground. No hesitation from River Mailer going all the way. Young Shiro over at first base. With Arizona, that drop third, allowing River Mailer on base. Turns out that they like to get some cushion. Grounded to the right side. Coming into home and sliding safely is Emily Young. And see again the speed that Emily Young has to bring up Emily Jones. So if that's not an Emily connection, I don't know what is. Swing and a miss. Big strikeout for Devin Nets. She's one out closer to doing just. You'll have to stay very disciplined and focused. Line drive through the 5 6 hole. Waiting on the changeup. Schultz will be sent as well, and it's two across. Alex runner that Arizona needed. We talk about this all the Utes, but one of the most exciting series that we've seen is that's off the glove of Jones. Young grabs it, but no play. Beal 2 1. Chopped. Young. Tries for the tag, throws to first, gets the out at first. Right back to Vodder, looks her back at third, over to first. Always hit hard. Back to Vodder, just the one hop. Smart to dive back to Flynn that they got in Tucson. Bases were loaded, able to draw that walk. Lined into the glove of Jones and out. First run comes across for Arizona. Sit back in the first. Lined out with an absolute shot into the glove. Hit grounded to Young. She will fire to first and that's going to do it. Stanford allows one to come across. It's the Wildcats between two ranked teams. Number 20, Arizona. And number 7, Stanford. And it's a three pitch strikeout this time. Devin Nets not messing around. Number 22, River Mailer. Lined into left center. That's going to fall. Mailer not hesitating, trying to take two, but the tag laid down by. Lined into center, and it's a base hit. Young, now two for three on the day. season, was a little bit lower in the lineup, even in the nine spot for a while, has recently been moved up. Big pitch. And a big strikeout. Devin Nets does it again. Started with this. Popped up into the outfield. Coming in to make the catch is Gindelsberger. Donardo under that one's in NCAA history. Nearly 2,500 home runs this evening. Grounded to Schultz. Three unassisted if you're scoring at home. She's seen some action over there on the right side of the infield. Lined into center. Gindelsberger has it. Another efficient inning for Elena Vodder and the Stanford Cardinal. The bottom of the sixth, bring in the fourth. Again, she goes a short. Beal, her first play over there. Just in time at first. Isn't that how it always works? 
a little more pop in her bat this season as well. Came into this game. Takes ball four. Kaneshiro takes advantage of. Got her swing in the rise ball. She goes upstairs to get the strikeout. Steele has had her fair share of at-bats throughout her career. 0-2. Popped up in the infield. Nets makes the catch. Two down for... She does! Lined into right center. That's gonna be two bags for Clements. And another RBI. Right back where it came from, absolutely late bags. And Kaneshiro able to score all the way from freshman Kira Chan. Over the head of Donardo. That's going to put Clements over at third. So the Up and in. Doesn't chase it. Chan draws the walk. SB winner. Had one of the most epic weeks that a pitcher could. Line drive, but foul to the left side. Phone out twice, struck out once. Got her looking. Summer and Dyke shuts down the bottom of the, Off the first pitch to get one she likes. Did she go? They say yes. First out of the seven. Flown into the outfield on the run coming in is Gindelsberger. Win. And that is grounded to third. Sticking with it is the re-entered Emily Jones. And she gets the out. That does it. Game one, a gem of a game thrown by Elena Vodder once again. Something the ground in the air, able to rely on them as they lead the Pac-12 in field.